All right, if you guys have a Z Automotive Taser or Burn Box, this next video is for you. The guys over at Z Automotive just dropped the new version of their Z Automotive Programmer. And in today's video, we're going to go over how to install it and how to get your Taser automatically updated to the latest and greatest version. So let's get right into it. First step of the install is to see if you've got another version of the ZPU installed and then go ahead and uninstall it. Once the uninstall completes, if you're prompted, go ahead and reboot. If not, you can jump right in. Head over to zautomotive.com. From there, you want to click on the support menu and select the Z Automotive Programmer. Right here in this menu, you're going to see the Windows version. It's kind of got that cool little graphic going and hit the test drive button. That'll download the latest version or the beta version for us to install. As you run through the installer, make sure you read all the agreements because we all have to read all those words. And of course, uh, you may have to install .NET if this is your first time installing the ZPU. Also, there's a driver pack that gets installed along with it. And that driver pack allows the Z Automotive, or sorry, the Taser to actually connect without any issues. Once you're complete with that install, there's a little box there to check so you can launch the ZPU. All right, so from here, you got a couple options, update, configure, data log, and of course, exit. So today's video is gonna focus on the auto update feature. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and plug in your taser and click that update button. Right off the bat, you're gonna notice you've got your firmware version, you've got whether it's married or not, your serial number, and what device you're using. So me with the Challenger, of course, I only have the taser, but this works for the Taser JL, the Taser Mini, all the other versions, including the burn boxes. Let's start out with the most important buttons in the upper right side. So the first button you're gonna see is there's a manual button. You click that, opens up a little window where you can click and read the user manual. The biggest recommendation I have for your product is to read the user manual for the version of vehicle that you have. Check the feature list, check the settings, check the install. Every vehicle has a little bit of a different twist to it, different features. So make sure you read the manual before you hit up anybody for questions because most or 90% of the answers are right here. Now, if you're still stuck after reading the manual, there's the cool video button. And when you click on that, that takes you back over to zautomotive.com and shows you a bunch of cool videos by this guy, Work, Play, Drive. You can easily close those pop-outs. And the last one is the settings menu. You've got the option for 2x write speed. What this does is it just improves that communication path between your computer and the taser, speeding up the update process. The previous firmware checkbox allows you to load a previous version of the firmware. You'll see by unchecking it, that version 2.4.7 just disappears. System alerts, turning that on and off uh, will give you the alerts like if your taser is not plugged in or lost connection or something. These are important things to know, so you might as well leave that turned on. And the visual effects, these little lightning bolts that kind of zip up in between some of the windows here. It's a cool effect, but if it annoys you, you can turn that off. So if you're not already in the automatic update screen, click the automatic lever to bring you there. And here you're gonna see the latest version of the firmware, and if selected in the settings, you'll also see the previous version. To load the latest firmware, simply select the new firmware version and hit install firmware. The software is gonna take care of the rest, and in two and a half to three minutes, you'll be ready to go back out to the car with the latest firmware. All right, that's gonna close out this video. Be sure to stay tuned. I got some other awesome videos on the Z Automotive programming utilities, a little bit more advanced, like how to do manual updates, how to use the unmarry services, how to recover your taser if you broke it. All these are gonna be coming up in the next week or so, so be sure to stick around and check those out. If you enjoyed the content, please gently press that like button. If you're stopping by for the first time, be sure to check out my other content. And as always, thanks for watching.